It's called canine influenza and it can be deadly. It's relatively rare in Ontario, but that makes the most recent outbreaks first in southwestern Ontario and now in central Ontario even more troubling. That's because most Ontario dogs haven't been vaccinated against these strains and this particular strain has been found as far away as Grimsby. The source, a group of rescue dogs that were rescued from mainland China and who arrived here just last month and who've spent considerable times with other rescue groups and doggy daycares. So when the dogs arrive at the airport, and I think this is a surprise to a lot of people, um, they are not checked over. Nicole Tryon was volunteering with a rescue group when she was asked to pick up several dogs from Pearson on February 13th. But the flight volunteer literally just walks up to customs with the paperwork. They check it out. Yeah, it has its rabies vaccination. It has its international health certificate. You're good to go. They don't look in the kennels. They don't check out the dogs. Um, nothing. She says she told the rescue group's manager that she had concerns that the dogs may be ill, but she was assured it was simply kennel cough, far less dangerous than influenza. But her dogs got sick too, and oral swabs revealed it was the potentially deadly virus. It's a serious concern for our dog population. There's not much human health concern that we're paying attention to it, but worried about our dogs because we've got a population of dogs in Ontario that doesn't have any immunity to it because they've never seen this virus before. It's believed that up to 100 dogs could be infected right now, with the disease spreading quickly among rescue groups and doggy daycares. Well, we've had concerns about importation for quite a while. Uh, we know that when you move animals across large distances, you bring things with them. It's relatively easy to bring a dog into Canada. In most cases, no quarantine or veterinary checks are required. And the government doesn't keep track of how many dogs enter the country. But a recent report estimates that in 2014 alone, 6,200 rescue dogs were imported into the country. We don't have a lot of regulation uh, for animals that come in. The main concern is rabies vaccination, and even that's fairly lax. The group developed a long list of proposals that would strengthen the border when it comes to dogs, but appears most of the proposals have not been adopted by the CFIA. So how do you protect your pup? Well, for starters, keep them away from sick dogs. And if you live in or are planning on visiting Grimsby, Aurelia, Bracebridge, or Gravenhurst, you may want to talk to your veterinarian about getting your dog the H3N2 vaccine. We'll have all of this information on our website. That's citynews.ca.